Rogers alert a developing situation out of Kansas City. One person is dead, and at least 10 to 15 people are injured after a shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl parade. I want to go to Jonathan Hunt. He has more for us, and then we'll have the five. Jonathan? Dana, this shooting happened at the end of the parade and rally, which was supposed to, of course, be a celebration of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory. Instead, it has turned into chaos and tragedy. One person, as you mentioned, confirmed now by the Kansas City Police Chief to have been killed in this shooting. She is also saying that 10 to 15 people were injured. We do not have an update at this point on the condition of those who have been taken to a number of area hospitals. But it was interesting, Dana, listening to the police chief, the anger and emotion in her voice very clear as she described uh, this shooting breaking out at the end of the rally and police officers uh, rushing towards the sound of those shots. What we also know uh, from the police chief is that two people have been taken into custody and we have seen some fascinating video that we are working to get to our viewers now of in one instance apparent fans who were simply attending the rally chasing down one person tackling that person and as law enforcement then arrive on the scene you hear one of those fans saying we tackled him we got the gun in the same video uh, uh, taken from a higher angle that we've seen the camera pans back and you see law enforcement standing over a second person uh, on the ground. Now, we do not know if those two people were involved in the shooting, but clearly they were being tackled by law enforcement because they felt there was a reason to do so. But the bottom line, uh, Dana, one person is dead, 10 to 15 injured in a shooting that has turned the celebration of the Kansas Chiefs Super Bowl victory into a tragedy tonight. Dana. Jonathan, thank you. We'll follow the news and there'll be more on special report. But now to the border crisis. Republicans forcing a